Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal. I want to make a quick video today on the subject of Kitsurim for fellow Hebrew learners, uh, fellow people learning modern Hebrew Ivrit. So Kitsurim are, I think, one of the things you're going to be really seeing a lot of if you're a Hebrew learner. They're actually one of the most bewildering facets of the language, in my opinion, and there certainly are a few of those. Uh, I think the reason for that is their sheer prevalence. There are so many. Israelis absolutely love Kitsurim. They love making contractions out of words and that maybe speaks to the Israeli mentality and always loving shortcuts. But you'll find these all over the place. Now a Kitsur uh, can also be mean to use let's say a Kitsur Derech which means like a shortcut and uh, therefore a Kitsur can both have a linguistic meaning and a colloquial uh, meaning totally outside a language. Now in English a Kitsur kind of uh, overlaps with a few different brackets. One of those would be um, slang or, uh, or acronyms. So for instance, we'd call the FDA, uh, the Federal Drug Administration, or the United Nations, we'd call the UN. That's a, uh, those are acronyms. But Kitsurim uh, can also actually be used to abbreviate things for and uh, make words that are actually spoken. So I'll give you a few examples. One of those would be the United Nations, it's called in Hebrew, Ha'um. Uh, and it's uh, that's a that's a acronym that's actually spoken as a word. Uh, Laz uh, is a, is an acronym for is a kitsur for luach zman like my schedule. Alaz sheli patuach hayom. For instance, to put that in a sentence, uh, sofash is another really is another one you'll hear a lot, which is a kitsur for uh, sof shavua sof shavua. So that the weekend, in other words. So you would say sofash, but you wouldn't say, for instance, arhab. So Artsot Habrit, when you see it written in, uh, in, in the news, in the, way, in the same way in English, we would say US, but we wouldn't say us. We wouldn't say, I just spent a few weeks in USA. You'd say, I spent a few weeks in the USA. Um, there are also Kitsurim in Hebrew that you do not read, and uh, Artsot Habrit would be one of those. I've never heard, people can correct me if I'm wrong, I've never heard someone say Arhab. I've never heard someone read that out, but you do see all the time in uh, Hebrew language news, Aleph, Resh, He, Chub, Shik, Beit. Um, so that is written. So let me just quickly go ahead and I'm going to show you one thing. Firstly, how easily Kitsurim are encountered. So sometimes I open up a news article in, uh, in Hebrew. I meant, to, I meant to jump screen right there. Sometimes I open up a news article in Hebrew and I'll take out my little uh, notepad and a pen or a Google Doc and I'll just begin sort of adding in vocab I might know by running it through uh, Morphix to translate it. But commonly I'll also have to look up Kitsurim. So this is an article about the corona. So Le uh, Rishonah means for the exclusive, I guess is the best English translation. Which means that the um, uh, uh, Corona Task Force uh, is going to be opening up a public discussion for the treatment of coronavirus among children. So let's just let's just go ahead translating this. Biakbut uh, ishur ha FDA following FDA approval ha satam. What's a satam? So here we go. We made it four words into this article, and we have a kitsur, and that's why I actually chose to make this video. Ha satam. So, so that sentence to me is fine, except for the Kitsur in it. Hatsatam. So here's what you can do. Do not fear the Kitsurim. Uh, ki, ki, now it's, uh, I would argue the URL is, uh, is not, it's, there should be a T in it, but there is not. It's kizur.co.il. And this is a Kitsur lookup tool. So what you can do is you can either a look up by a kitsur, or uh, you can search for a word and uh, see if there is a kitsur available for it. So you can go kitsur to words or words to kitsurim. So, for instance, if I wanted to look up um, hatsatam, so I don't I don't need the definite article, so I just need the tzatam part of it, and I'm just going to pop that into my magical kitsur demystifier, and uh, you can see we have a match. So it says uh, kitsur and uh, Hagadra. Now, by the way, there's another great tool um, which I'm sure most people watching this video are familiar with, and that's Morphix. So the other great mystifier in learning Hebrew is uh, vowelization because vowels aren't written out in Hebrew. 
Uh, so sometimes I do just pop that in um, in order to both look up the definition of a word. Hagadara, sorry, hagadara. There's a there's another uh, there's another vowel there. I was missing I was missing under the resh, and that's a definition. I didn't know what it meant. I didn't know hagadara. So the hagadara of the kitsur for tzatam is sevet pitu sevet pitul b'magefot, which literally translate to a, a treatment team in uh, in plagues. Um, the definition of a, of a that's a magefa. So that's basically it's just a contraction for. Uh, the treatment team in, in, the, in pandemics, um, in other words, the, again, the Corona task force, but because that's been so commonly referenced uh, over this period, it's got its own kitsur. Uh, that's what I mean about Israelis uh, loving kitsurim, um, is going to be convening an open discussion. So if you encounter a kitsur or a, um, and here's another of them, uh, you, can, you can spot them quickly just by looking at the, now mankal is a, is a common one, which means a CEO. Uh, if I put mankal, and if you want to know what it means, it's actually a kitsuro for minahel klali, general manager. Uh, let's see if I want to go the other way around. You can look up um, sof shavua. So I looked up sof shavua, and it told me that sof shavua is sofash, which you'll hear, as I said, uh, colloquially used as a slang word. So if you are uh, boggled by the kitsurim, do not be boggled. Uh, you can deboggle yourself by going on to kizur.co.il. It's a Kitsuro lookup tool. You can go from Kitsuro to full words, or you can go from full words to Kitsurim. And it's one of the uh, many helpful websites that exist if you are learning Hebrew. Thank you guys for watching. Um, and if you want to get more videos from me, subscribe to this YouTube channel.